I wanted to open up a flare bar because I had learned flare at the Real Hotel Casino. I still want to open up a bar ever since I was at a young age. And I said, you know what? Entertainment is where it's at. Flare is where it's at. And that's what I wanted to do. So that's how I decided to open up Fuel Bar. So there was a lot of challenging to open up Fuel Bar. One, finances. Two, finding the perfect location. Three, just learning the whole business from building it from scratch all the way to the top. So that was your first bar, right? You basically did the, the flare it's bar. My very first bar, flare bar. <laughs> Literally, I designed the place. I built the place with my bare hands. It took me a month to build it. And I financed the whole entire thing myself. Uh, tons of savings, tons of loans, and just to make my dream come true. So really, I, I hand selected everybody for my team. I didn't do auditions, I didn't do interviews, I knew everyone. I knew the people that were entertaining and that were good at flair. So I hand selected each and every single one because their ability to entertain that customer. Part of the challenges is being between a flair bar, a cocktail bar, or just a regular standard bar is the entertainment factor. Really, we're trying to capture the customer's excitement and give them something that they normally don't have in a regular bar. So, challenges for running a flare bar is one, we know we're gonna have broken bottles. We're gonna have spills. So we're giving, we're giving away extra liquor. We're losing some money that way, but the entertainment factor is the whole big picture. We get dents, we get dings, we break glass. So we just have to remind ourselves it's all part of cost and spending that extra cost for the extra entertainment for the customer is the best way to run it. Our menu hasn't really changed too much. Uh, we've, we've changed a few here and there, but the exciting news is Bacardi and us have collaborated together and we're getting a brand new venue next week. We've really changed the names to crazy things like, what's your password? Can I have something not too sweet, not too sour? We got the little blue pill. We got, give me the strongest thing you got. It's just stupid names that people would always say and ask questions from the bartenders and we're giving it to them for the cocktails. We develop our, our cocktails so that they do taste great, just like a cocktail bar. We want a complete and utterly seamless cocktails that's gonna taste good, that's not super strong. So we don't overcomplicate things. We make things really super simple, but taste really good. The secret to the success for Fuel Bar, one, it is the bartenders. Very friendly, entertaining. Also, we've been featured on a lot of TV shows. We've been featured on NBC, CBS, a &E, The Food Network, The Cooking Channel, ESPN. And it started off with just a, a big, huge vibe that we got in the Flair world, and TV shows started picking it up and just found amazement. Uh, we do offer two-for-one cocktails, so the cost here compared to every other bar is actually super low, and it really gives us the high volume, and it gives us the view from all the customers. They can see how fun the bar is, and they just come back over and over, and then they pass the word on to their friends. Their friends tell their friends, and we just keep on growing and growing and growing. I truly think just building a, a, a bar that's bigger where we can accommodate more people, we get so entirely packed that uh, you know we can't get to everybody as quick as we want to, but it does create a good vibe. The, the people want to be around other people. They see people, they're gonna go there. It's the attention that we get with the flair that draws the people in, then when they stay there, then it draws more people. I truly see us staying here in Las Vegas. However, I do want a bigger bar. I would love to go inside a casino, um, but our location is totally, totally amazing. Um, my team's amazing. I'm, I'll never get rid of this bar. 
I'd just like to make it bigger so we can accommodate more people, which obviously financially is better for us to make more money. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> 10 times fold. It's what we're, what, what I got in the business for is to be self-sustaining, to, to, to create jobs for bartenders, for bar backs, for promoters. I love giving people work, but truly I love the entertaining and making people so excited that they can't wait to come back next year. And so getting a, a larger location gives us a chance to take care of more people and we want even more foot traffic. So it, it, it truly is a blessing what we have right now and I wouldn't trade it for the world. However, if I could trade it, it would be just for something a little bit bigger, that's all. Nothing is impossible.